You would turn in your Bibles to Second Chronicles chapter 20. Amen. Second Chronicles chapter 20. I don't know about you, but I, I had one of those weeks this week where I was being approached by people from every angle. And there, there are needs everywhere. I got a sister that's dealing with cancer, getting ready to go for surgery on Tuesday. Amen. I got a, 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 a daughter-in-law getting ready to be mentored for a, a pacemaker. Just all kind of things going. And God led me right here. Say amen when you get there. Second Chronicles chapter 20. Amen. amen. We're going to read verses 1 through 7. After this, the Moabites and the Ammonites, with some of the Midianites, came to wage war against Jehoshaphat. Some people came and told Jehoshaphat that a vast army is coming against you from Eden, from the other side of the Dead Sea. It is already in Hazion, Jenna, that is Eden, Gedi. Listen at this next word. What does your Bible say? Alarmed. Alarmed. Sometimes we think that when we feel something out of the ordinary, that is the wrong thing. But I want you to know this morning, sometimes it's the right thing. Amen. Amen. Alarmed, Jehoshaphat resolved to inquire of the Lord. And he proclaimed a fast for all Judah. Mm. The people of Judah came together to seek help from who? The Lord. the Lord. Indeed, they came from every town in Judah to seek him. Then Jehoshaphat stood up in the assembly of Judah and Jerusalem at the temple of the Lord in the front of the gate of the new courtyard and said, Lord, the God of our ancestors, mm -hmm. are you not God who is in heaven? Are you not over all the kingdoms of the nations? Power and might are in your hand, and no one can withstand you. Mm. Verse 7, he said, Our God, did you not give out, did you not drive out the inhabitants of the land before your people of Israel and give it? Forever to the descendants of Abraham, your friend. Mm -hmm. What I can see right here is a fight is about to ensue. Mm -hmm. Amen? Come on, come on, yeah. A fight is about to take place. And I want, I, I, I found this so fascinating, I could barely sleep this week. Because we find it necessary to fight for a whole lot of things, right? Amen. We fight for our children, mm -hmm. we fight for our names. We fight for our reputation. Mm. We, we fight for a lot of things. Mm. But what's important to know is when to fight and how to fight. Amen. 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 We're born fighters. I know we are. By nature. Amen. But we feel it necessary to fight sometimes for the wrong reason. Mm -hmm. Amen. And of all those things that you feel necessary to fight for, you feel it necessary to fight for those things because they belong to you, right? Mm -hmm. Amen. So my question to you this morning is, who do you belong to? Mm. Think about that. Who do you belong to? Amen. If, and if you know who belongs to you, who you belong to, then you know the answer to the next question, and who is fighting for you? Mm. Amen. Amen. I, I love how when the, the, the armies tried to sneak up on King Jehoshaphat, amen, there was, there's always somebody to come tell him. Mm -hmm. Somebody came and told them, look, they're coming up on you. they sneaking up against you. Amen. And I like what he did. We, we got to get here if we don't do nothing else. Mm -hmm. We got to know how to fight. Mm -hmm. Amen. So if we belong to God, then John 3, 16, I'll take on a whole different meaning mm -hmm. for you today. For he so loved you that he gave his only son for you. Mm -hmm. Amen. That you might have a right to live. Amen. I want you to know this morning that you are his son. Right. You are his daughter. Mm -hmm. We are his people. Yes. We are his possession. Yes. Amen. And I don't know about you, but he cherished me. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Our, our text this morning is going to come from verse 12. Okay. Amen. Verse 12. You got a case? <clears throat> our God, will you not judge them? 
Listen to me. Will you not judge them? For we have no power to face this vast army that is attacking us. I got to stop right here. Because mm. I, I don't know if you know who King Jehoshaphat is. Amen. He come from a, a lineage of fighters. Amen. King Solomon was his great, great grandfather. Mm -hmm. King David was his great, great, great grandfather. Mm -hmm. He got fighting in his DNA. Okay. He got wisdom in his DNA. But what he said right here is, for we have no power to face this vast army mm -hmm. that is attacking us. Mm -hmm. We do not know what to do. Mm -hmm. But our eyes are on you. Yeah. Our eyes are on you. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. I have, I have learned the secret to being where I need to be if I never learn anything else, and that's praise. Come on. Amen. Amen. That's praise. Amen. I don't care what you're going through and what it feels like and how it seems. You praise your way through it. Because when you praise in God doing any circumstances, yeah. what you are saying to him is, yeah. my eyes are on you. Yeah. My eyes are on you. Amen. 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 Anybody been there? Amen. Anybody there right now? Amen. Dealing with something for months and months and months and months. Yeah. And the only thing you got to do is be honest with yourself right, right now and let them know. I don't know how to fix it. Mm -hmm. Come on. I can't fix it. Come on. I don't know what to do. Come on. But my eyes yeah. are on you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Last Saturday night when I had that feeling of stroke coming on the left side of my body, I praise God. All the hours that I was awake, I praised God. I didn't care who was going to wake up. I didn't care what it sounded like. I knew that the answer was in my praise. Yes. And I have not felt that another minute since. Yes. It's all about your focus. And that's our subject for this morning. Change your focus. Change your focus. Come on. Come on. God is saying if you change your focus, he'll win the fight. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's God's job to do the impossible. Guess what your job is? To, focus. to believe that he can. Amen. Amen. You got to know that you know that you know that God cares that much about you. That's Amen. right. Amen. Stop looking at how big your problem is. It doesn't matter how long you had to hold in your side. It doesn't matter how stiff your legs on the ground. It doesn't matter what your family is doing. It doesn't matter how you, what, what they're doing on your job. Stop looking at how big the problem is. I don't care if it's financial. I don't care what it is. Stop looking at how big it is. Amen. And start focusing on big, how big God is. Amen. Amen. God is bigger than this stuff. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Okay, let's bring up verse 13. For me. Let's read verse 13 and 14. Mm -hmm. You've got to learn today how to fight. Amen. Amen. The fight is in your focus. Amen. Amen. Verse 13 says, And all the men of Judah, with their wives and children and little ones, stood there before the Lord. Then the Spirit of the Lord came on Jehoshaphat, son of Zechariah, the son of Benaniah, the son of Jael, and the son of Mananiah, a Levite, a descendant of Asher, as he stood in the assembly. What did all that mean? What that simply says is every name that's mentioned in that past two scriptures represented a different generation. Amen. And every time God ready, got ready to pass his purpose on to another generation, he didn't drop the ball. You got to remember, folks, that he doesn't change. If he did it for overseer, he could do it for me. Amen. That's right. Amen. Right? Amen. Amen. If he did it for Judah and Jerusalem, he can do it for you. Amen. He didn't drop the ball when he passed the torch. Amen. And he's not about to start now. That's right. He won't, he won't start with you. Amen. Amen. You don't lose the battle unless you lose your focus. That's right. I mean, we just fight and fight and fight. It's all about your position. Amen. Not about your power. We don't have, we got to be like King Jehoshaphat. He said, I can't do this. Mm -hmm. It's too big for me. I don't know how to do it. But my eyes are on you. Amen. Everybody was getting ready to fight. But you know what's so ironic about that situation? If they had fought, they were lost. That's right. If they had fought within, them, within their own strength, 
they would have lost. Amen. If you don't understand the nature of the battle that you're in, I know it's big. Mm -hmm. I know it's hard. I know it's tough. I know it's rough. If, but you got to understand the nature of the battle that you're in because if you don't, you're going to use the wrong strategy. Amen. Have you ever dealt with something and you thought, golly, I could have handled that better? Mm -hmm. Oh, man, I didn't mean to say that. Mm -hmm. I handled that the wrong way. Some of us are studying losing the fight because we're fighting on the wrong level. Amen. Mm -hmm. The Spirit of God in Ephesians 6, 12 says, but we wrestle not against flesh and blood. That's right. But that's exactly what some of us are doing. Mm -hmm. We're wrestling against people. We're fighting against people. Amen. But the fight is not, listen, it's not a physical battle. It's a spiritual battle. We fight to protect our ego. We fight to protect our pride. Amen. And then we lose the battle in the spirit. Mm. Amen. Because we have lost our focus. Amen. Our focus isn't on God at that point. It's on us. Because we are more concerned about what people say about us. We're concerned about our pride. We're concerned about how they see us than we are about receiving God's promises. Let me tell you something. God can fight much better than we can. Amen. 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 Jehoshaphat said, don't you rule over all these nations? Didn't you drive these people out to give this land to us? Will you not judge them and give it back, get it, get it straightened out? You have been presented, whenever you've been presented with a situation, if, 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 if listen, the social media and the Twitter feeds and all this stuff that people got their eyes on now, some of that stuff, God is saying, mm-mm. Mm -mm. Not your fight. Yeah. Not that one. Amen. Not that one. Amen. Sometimes God is saying just to be quiet. Mm -hmm. Amen. Just to shut mm -hmm. your mouth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. This for, for the battle is not yours. Mm -hmm. It's his. Amen. And and here's the message, folks. I want you to get this this morning. Sometimes it takes more faith not to fight. Oh, look at that. Think about that now. Joe, Joe has the fact wasn't there's no shyster. He was a king's king. Mm -hmm. He had many men under him, but he recognized that this was too much for him, and he did not know what to do. Sometimes it's better to just be still and let God be God. Amen. Let God be great in your situation. Mm -hmm. Let him figure it out and sort it out. After all, if you are his possession, the fight is his. Amen. If we are his possession, the fight belongs to him. And because we are trying to handle it ourselves, we're going to mess up every time. Mm -hmm. You say, well, uh, and folks, golly. I mean, some, the, the, the word said, do what we can do and God do what we can't. Amen. Yeah, what you can do is believe God. Amen. Amen. What you can do more of is trust God. Mm -hmm. What you can do more of is stand down. Amen. 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 Stand, sometimes it takes more faith to let God sort it out. Mm -hmm. We like to fix stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, but you have to understand the nature of your battle. You won't get distracted right if you don't understand the nature of it. Hey, God, fight after all. I don't know about you, but I'm all right with that. Amen. 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 I get out of his way and let him do what he do better than me. Amen. 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 So if you don't fix the worship, the problem is king. Thank you, Lord God. 